This is Twit. Hearing aids. Now, this yep. is not exactly, I mean, you know, sure, it's, it would apply to home theater geeks who have hearing loss. Uh, and this year or last year, I think, the F, uh, some Sometime governmental agency two, yeah. said, we, you can sell hearing aids over the counter. You don't have to go to an audiologist. And so there's a slew of them. And there were a bunch at CES, right? There were a bunch, a bunch of them. And to some extent, it's good for the consumer. But to some extent, okay, fine. I know that if I go to a hearing specialist and get tested and fitted, mm -hmm. if the person is good, the odds are that I'm going to get, you know, a decent pair of hearing aids. I may pay for it, but I know they're going to be good because they'll be done by a licensed professional. Yeah, I mean, it's, exactly. As, as you as you know personally, it's a real thing. Yeah. Then there is OTC that says, "Well, we'll do it on a line." Okay, fine. And there's a market for that because that stuff is cheaper. But then the thing that I'm concerned about is. Joe Namath selling headphone uh, <laughs> OTC hearing aids yeah. for $99 on late night TV. Yeah. Well, God bless Joe Namath, but I ain't buying a $99. I mean, uh, fortunately, I can afford something more than that, but you wonder if that's really an improvement in it. If you read the disclaimers, they're very specific because they have to be yeah. about the level of improvement. But what I saw at CES, the brand that you want to mention, uh, is one of them is this mid-range sort of two ninety nine, three ninety nine, four ninety nine OTC hearing aids, and they're they're pretty good. And in fact, they're going to send me some, and I'll see if they make a if oh, they make a difference. I really and look forward to hearing your your report. This is a company called Ella here, E L E H E A R. Yes. And the, they have had an OTC hearing aid called Beyond. And this, at CES, they introduced Beyond Pro. And I, I obviously, they didn't let me try them on. Or actually, no. they wanted me to, but I didn't want to do it. In a sh I don't try on hearing aids. In a no, 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 no. You don't know who had them last. Exactly. But in terms of form factor, they're a little bit better than the recons or Phillips that you would see from a hearing specialist or uh, Costco, where they are specialists also. It's a little bigger, but not much. Mm -hmm. But if you're on a budget, and people are these days, if those are three ninety nine and they're pretty good, that makes a difference in your life. I'm all for it. And these, the real reason, whether I have any hearing issues or not, is these have built-in a oh, AI, <laughs> AI tra come on Keith AI translation yes. right AI real time language translation so and and I somebody's have, talking to you in Swahili well no 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 in fairness to one of the discussions we had in part two this is on device. So there's a limit to the number. It's just like with your phone and you want to do Google Translate or Microsoft Translate, whatever it is. There's a limit to how much they can store on device. That's true. But um, I become addicted to Korean K-dramas. No, no kidding. Really? And I love them. They're hilarious. They're like Spanish novellas or good old fashioned soap operas, right. but they're in Korean and, and it's an acquired taste, but I love them. And you read the subtitles. So I want to get one of these to test out the AI, tr the AI translation to to the <laughs> subtitles because that's how a lot of the subtitles are being generated and, and by I'm AI really, by or when I'm in a meeting with one of my Chinese vendors yeah uh, for my other businesses and they start saying excuse me uh, we need to talk to each other. <laughs> I want to be able to know what they're really saying. Yeah. And and for those of you who are students of history, uh, Cho Enlai, who is Mao's second in command in Red China, yeah. spoke perfect English. And when Nixon went over, he waited for the translator because he was using that time because he knew what was going on. So <clears throat> if I have hearing aids to do live translation, yeah. I don't have to wait until the other person tells me what's going on. Right. So I'm all in for these hearing or not. Yeah.
Yeah, I, I would love that too. The other really cool things that these that that these particular uh, hearing aids or what are called hearing wearables, yes, uh, do is they uh, they offer what are called tinnitus masking sound. So if you have tinnitus, it's ringing wow. in the ears. And you can ameliorate the effect to some degree by playing masking sounds and because noises it, of one sort or another. And, and these phone, these uh, ear, hearing wearables will do it. It's like an ANC kind of thing. Yes. And they but do I, it. They I, also do noise cancellation. I, I would ask your, your, your better half. I believe that there is no cure for tintinitis. There isn't. Is that I know this for a fact. Right. Well, you know, you ask the man who, who knows somebody who knows. Yeah, exactly. Um, right. Well, I, I know I know for a fact because I in fact suffer from tinnitus. Wow. It was all from, those from, it was all those all loud the, rock bands in college and hanging around with all them damn tubas. Well that too. Uh so I, I do suffer from it and I have asked ENTs and uh, all all sorts of uh, audiologists is there any cure for it? No, there is not. There's only retraining and wow. and uh, sort of adaptive technologies like masking sounds. Wow. Well, the, 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 I spoke to those people and they were very good. And, and I think that it would be interesting, especially if you mention connection to a, uh, a hearing professional, that I bet you that they would, um, that they might send you a review sample. And it would be really curious to hear what you and your, your expert uh, have to say. Yes, well, I, I intend to ask them, absolutely. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>